Hi, uh, this is uh, Home Songs for Life. I believe we're 183, which is quite a lot, really. Uh, very happy to have uh, Dave McCann, David McCann. Is it Dave or David? Which you prefer? David, David, David. Okay. Yeah. okay. Uh, who is a great singer-songwriter. Uh, looking forward to hearing your songs, Dave. Really, uh, um, always enjoy your sets. Uh, and we'll have a chat at the other side. Okay. Okay, lovely. Thank you. All right. See you in a yeah. short while. Over Absolutely. to you. Absolutely. Thank you. Uh, so, hello, everybody. I uh, hope you can hear me. Um, oh, I should probably open Facebook so I can see if there is anybody there. Is there anybody out there? Uh, I might be making comments. Uh, let me just check that out. So, uh, yeah, I just uh, basically what I'm going to do today is I am going to sing. Uh, three Christmas songs that I wrote and a New Year's Eve song that I wrote because who doesn't want a New Year's Eve song? Uh, let me see. So the last time I tried to do this, I completely messed up uh, the technical side of things and I wasn't able to do it at all. So thanks to David for inviting me back. Uh, a man of great patience. Uh, so hang on. Hopefully you won't hear any of this. Oh, I can't see a thing. Okay. Uh, I'll just continue anyway. Uh, and if Facebook comes back, then that's grand. Uh, so the first song I'm going to sing is a song kind of like an alternative or alternate reality. Uh, this is a song... what would happen if uh, the wise men had come to a different place entirely. I uh, just want to say thanks to David as well for running home songs every day of the week really for, for so long and then uh, now he's running them once a week. Uh, and it's just a great outlet to be able to play your songs to people. So anyway, this was called Bethlehem, Wyoming. I slept in winter cold December hanging heavy on my heart The cattle settled for the night The fire before me fading I lay upon my blanket roll That lay upon a blanket of deep snow The darkest day and gone, but still the night's too long. In deepest night, I woke to see three riders and three horses richly dressed. Wealthy moments from the east in silk and silver shine and they offered me a greeting as they climbed down from their horses and they asked if they might sit share some coffee and what heat was in my fire they said come come you cowboys come the ocean led here by the shining of that star that you can still see through 
Through the snowy clouds We take it very kindly If tomorrow you would join us On our journey to the west To find the meaning Of that bright blue diamond star They said come Come ye cowboys come Saddled up my horse and turned my face towards the sun. Thanks, folks. That's about uh, that's about the longest song I've ever written. So you'll be happy to hear the rest are shorter. Mm. <clears throat> so uh, this next song, <coughs> pardon me. Uh, this next song is probably the most recent of the Christmas songs I've written. What's the point of red-nosed reindeer? What's the use of Santa's sleigh? When you got no love on Christmas Day What's the use of online shopping For a New Year's getaway? When you got no love on Christmas Day Toes, no substitute for thick and thin. But when your heart's all boarded up, then only clever robbers can get in. What's the point of herald angels? Do you listen to what they say? When you got no love on Christmas Day What's the use of bells are ringing You can't hear them anyway When you got no love on Christmas Day And mistletoe's no substitute for kith and kin
What's the point of all those carols? What of all those prayers you pray? When you got no love on Christmas Day Thank you. Um, still seeing nothing on Facebook here, so I'm just hoping it's going out to the wide world. Um, okay, uh, this is actually the first Christmas song, um, probably the second song I've ever written uh, in total. Uh, I wrote way back about 2005, 2006. And we've recorded it as a, a, a little collective that we have called Reindeer Tracks, and you can find us on Spotify under Reindeer Tracks, um, and this one's called Christmas Eve, All at Sea. And in the recording, uh, my friend Graham Arthur sings this, but he's not here, so I'm going to do it tonight. Uh, okay. I believe the people in town can see the fairy lights that hang from the mast of the boat. I believe that for them it's not like other nights. I believe that's what keeps them afloat. Eleven long months since I last kissed my family goodbye. Cold Sunday morning on shore. Tomorrow they'll miss me, I'm certain, but I, I am sure I'll be missing them more. Oh, for this Christmas Eve, I am all at sea. No Jesus walks over water to me, and I know I am lost without anchor. Or compass or key. The captain's a God fearing man who keeps the Sabbath day as well as a ship's captain can. And tomorrow the crew will celebrate Christmas Day just as well as they do it. It seems so since I shared all the captain's beliefs Thought I knew what belief was about Now I find that my faith is all founded on reefs Of loneliness, distance and doubt Oh yes, this Christmas Eve I am all at sea no Jesus walks over water to me And I know I am lost without anchor or compass or key out over the bay Sound of voices united in song There's something inside me informs me that they Don't believe that the night can last long And I look through the sky To a bright point in space It brings me far back to another dark place Love for her child fades a young mother's face. 
eyes In a light that was meant for all men A light that has burned until now I believe the people in time can't see the fairy lights. Thank you. Okay, that's me almost wrapped up. Just one more song to go, and this is my New Year's Eve song. Uh, When I play this live, I try to get people to uh, join me in the countdown to New Year and to shout Happy New Year at the end. Um, I guess I have no idea whether you're going to do that or not. It would be nice if you did, but uh, I couldn't really blame you if you decided not to in the comfort of your own home. So uh, this is called the Kitty Cat Ball. And this uh, is also uh, due to be recorded with the uh, Reindeer Tracks uh, folk. So Kitty Cat Ball. I was feeling kind of low in the Christmas snow when the thing came through the post. It was a funny little square, right? Red affair, but the words impressed me most. They said, Here's your invite to Hot Many Night. Wear a costume if you dare. Admission is free, RSVP. All the cool cats will be there at the Kitty Cat Ball. Yeah, at the Kitty Cat Ball. play that at New Year. Thanks to, uh, thanks everybody and uh, happy Christmas, happy New Year. Hey. Hello. Hi David. <laughs> Thank you. Um, Thank you're you. back, I think you stuck your reverb on uh, on the third song there, have you just? I did, yeah. Was that not? Oh you did, one? okay. No, 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 okay. it's fine, it's fine. It was just uh, wonder whether it was accidentally or not. So. <laughs> no, I forgot to put it on the first one, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Okay. Uh, loving that. Uh, have you played that at New Year uh, before? 
No. No. No, I've never so, played a gig at New Year, so it's kind of annoying. It would be nice to do it at New Year, but people wouldn't really be listening. They'd be looking for the chimes. It'd be a great uh, one to try and, if you could try and time it to time fit it right, that, yeah. Uh, yeah, get that yeah. countdown in. I think you probably need to use some kind of a, a MIDI, uh, what do you call it, a tick track or something to do it. Aye, probably. Yeah. So I'll look, probably, not, probably not do that. No. We've got Asphalt Widley, uh, we got, you mentioned New Year's, and I, we've got uh, asked to do, play some at New Year's at the local pub where we're doing these open mic thingies, and... Um, it, it doesn't sort of uh, hit me as something that's going to work <laughs> for really? the sort of thing. No, because of the sort of thing we're doing. It's acoustic night we've had so far. Oh, uh, yeah, and, yeah, yeah. And, you know, New Year's People Eve. Want to be up and dancing. Uh, aye, and original yeah. songs as well. They want to hear sort of uh, aye, yeah. stuff, they, stuff they know. So, yeah. yeah, yeah. It, it's probably going to be off, though, because of all the shenanigans and whatnots with the COVID. Oh, yeah. Scotland's locking down a bit harder, yeah. Yeah, all of that's happening again. Hey, the joy is eh? So, um, I, I mean, your melodies are fantastic, by the way. Just thank you. That's full, full stop. Great. I mean, I haven't heard a, a song you've sung yet where I've just not thought, oh, that's a beautiful melody. <laughs> In one way or thank another. You. I'll, I'll try and find one for you. Yeah. That is is uh, crap. You mean one? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'm, I, I doubt it exists, but give it a shot. Yeah. That, at some point. That's very kind. Thank you. Yeah, and, and it, not surprising really, because you said uh, you were telling me, oh, and I saw on your website as well about your particular uh, love for the Beatles. Yeah. So uh, yeah, yeah. And they were the ma melody meisters. So. Uh... Yeah, yeah. Couldn't argue with that. They are. Where? Yeah. So aye. Uh, your lagging sessions. So you've you because you've been doing some hosting of music as well. Yeah. Uh, we started off. I think it must have, gosh, must have been near 10 years ago now. Uh, because myself and a bunch of other <coughs> uh, local musicians, well, one in particular, Steve Amos, who's a very talented comic songwriter. It's very hard to get anywhere to play that's not an open mic for original music, you know. It's very hard to get an audience and very hard to get Yeah. paid gigs. It's just impossible. So we decided to set up a gig uh, on a Sunday night in a pub in Belfast. And that ran for a few years, uh, every Sunday night. Um, we got local artists in, playing for free, just because uh, it was the thing. It's not ideal to play for free, but when you've got small audiences, you can't pay four acts no. a night, you know. Uh, so, uh, but they're still going. And now we do it uh, maybe twice a year, three times a year. Who knows, when COVID's over, it might be four or five times a year. Uh, get but it's done for charity now. And we still get a great bunch of people coming along to play and to listen you uh, get a decent so, turnout for that yeah i guess we had about 30 or so uh last saturday uh which is yeah and we've had the room full i mean other other times we did a 12 people playing last saturday in the round not right. one big round but four rounds of three and uh, we've run one uh, back in 2019 where we had 24 people playing in the day four songs each <laughs> it was a long day, but it was oh, yeah. good. It was Excellent. really good. Yeah. 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 Do you see? Uh, uh, I've. It was occurring to me when I was listening. But do you have much hope for the sort of thing we do? And by, I say we do. I mean, there's people of our kind of generation and doing this kind of thing uh, tend to be acoustic. And I just wonder whether that's uh, something that's got a future anymore, or whether we're just sort of uh, <laughs> hanging on to something from the past. Uh... I don't know. I, I think it has as much future as it ever had. Um, I think uh, us oldies, unfortunately, we're never going to make the charts. Uh, or maybe, no. Uh, but the charts aren't what the charts were anyway. I mean, I don't even know if anybody cares what Christmas number one is now. It used to be. A big deal. Everybody had a, an opinion on it, you know. Yeah. Uh, yeah. When I was in my teens and 20s. It was. Yeah, and later, was, even. Yeah, and later. <laughs> well, yeah. Uh, so. But now I don't, I don't, I don't see it as being as important. There's too many uh, avenues for music, too many places for people to get it. But uh, yeah, I have to have hope, David. I have to have hope, even if of it course. means something to a few of us. At least it means something. Yeah, you know? absolutely. Well, I mean, I'll... the talent, the talent is timeless. Thing that Saskia uh, Griffith Moore set up, and that I think a bunch of the people who are on here 
uh, or members of, you know, including yourself, uh, has been a good thing. It's been a kick in the whatever uh, <laughs> for a bunch of us. Uh, it's been good. It's yeah. Been over 50s, yeah. Yeah, and there are a lot of us. I mean, I, it's it's made me aware of just how much talent and talented songwriters are out there. To be honest, yeah. it's uh, it's great. And we are the baby boomers, of course. So this generation, there's a lot of us actually. So there's probably that's a, true. yeah, yeah, potentially yeah. big audience still, even though they're all. Uh, that's true. Yeah. Like, but it, yeah, that's very true. Um, but people, you know, people like to listen to what they know. Is it other things? So. Yeah, yeah, but I, um, as you know, I do these home songs things, and I, and I do find that you know people when they get put in front of a, a, a songwriter they've never heard of who's playing live original music they get engaged they yeah. uh they find that surprisingly to themselves maybe that they actually enjoy themselves and i, I that that gives me a bit of hope uh, <laughs> yeah and, and the other thing i think i was thinking about because somebody said to me on saturday there that uh they weren't a great fan of going out and listening to original music uh right but when they heard several songs more than once uh, by somebody, you know, if they've been out two or three times to a thing, that they started to realise this is actually good and they started to like the songs and started to, and I think that's the thing I mean, it used to be, you'd hear a song on the radio and it maybe be the third or fourth time you'd heard it you'd suddenly go, oh, I like that song Yeah, uh, and if you only play it once to people in a pub chances are limited, you know of making yeah. an impression True. I got told off once for um, for not repeating myself enough. Really, just playing the hits, as they say. Yeah. 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 Um, I, I struggle with that because I always feel like oh, I don't want to bore people, but I'd and I'd, I kind of like to play my, my latest songs and. Uh, I'm, I'm the same. I'm the same. I do. I agree with you. But, uh, but whoever told you that was probably right because it's with the comedy. So. You don't want to hear the same joke twice, but you you do want to hear the same song. You want to hear the things you, you again. You want to hear the songs you you've heard before. Maybe yeah. that's maybe we're stop writing songs and just playing them. Yeah, yeah, yeah very true. And you were in a uh, just a, fi a final question. I wanted thing to wanted to ask you about the Sand Runners. So you were in a duo. Is, is that still a thing or? Oh a... uh, well, it was a six piece band actually. Uh, oh, was it? Oh my. Yeah, okay. yeah. Uh, it's still a thing potentially. Uh, I haven't seen most of the guys for. Uh, 18 months um but i yeah. still keep in touch with me uh several people from it including the john mccaver who writes the songs with me so yeah I'd, I'd love to get it back together again and head off to distant world, world tour, tour. Yeah. Well, that'd be nice. <laughs> world tour yeah uh, i was thinking of uh the mull of kintyre or somewhere like that well yeah uh, it'd be fantastic if you could <laughs> good, good, good starting place for yeah I probably couldn't host the whole band for a, a home song, but uh, as I said yeah, to you before, you're welcome to come across and we'll sort that out at some point. That'll be sure. very kind, thank you. I was only joking yeah. about the band. He wouldn't want them anyway. <laughs> well, I mean, yeah, I'm sure I would actually, but um, yeah, maybe I'll get over oh, get over there to hear them. So. And the same stands when you come over, you're welcome here. Yeah, cheers. Yeah. Well, it's been a pleasure it's getting to know you and to get to know your music, uh, David, and uh, I, you know, I'm sure we'll be speaking again. Um, I hope you have a grand Christmas and uh, New Year at the Kitty Cat Ball or wherever you're yeah. spending it. <laughs> we'll be there. No. Uh, no. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. Have a great New Year uh, and happy Christmas. Uh, Thank you. to everybody that's that's watching. Uh, yeah. I can't see the Facebook. Oh, thing, so it, you were yeah. on Facebook, by the way. Um, so Chris and Donna, at least, have been um, oh, okay. uh, commenting on there. So I, I suspect okay. you might have the private chat on rather than the... Uh, I'm just wondering whether that's the case rather than I, the comments. I just clicked the link you sent and nothing came up. So ah. uh, that's, that's, uh, don't worry about it. I'll catch up. And, and just uh, before we go, can I add your uh, website link to the comments? Uh, oh yeah, please. Uh, David okay. Music. Com. I've got I've got it set up oh, here. I just okay. didn't. I thought I ought to get your permission first before. Oh no, no please. <laughs> yeah. Uh, spread it far okay. and wide. Yeah. Okay. Uh, yeah, that's going okay. on as we speak all right well thanks everyone for joining us uh, whether you're here now or uh, at some distant point in the future who knows people might still be watching this in a hundred years time david Ooh, uh, you just <laughs> <laughs> yeah. who knows but anyway have a great one everybody and uh, see you soon uh, next wednesday in fact bye now. bye